on the day that Jesus rose from the dead, he appeared to different people. And towards the end of the day, he appeared to two of his followers, and they were walking from Jerusalem to Emmaus, which is a village that takes about two to three hours of walk. So here in Jerusalem, and here at Emmaus. So, Stephen, maybe you help me to draw a road there. Thank you. Yeah. yeah. So, two men were walking. Brian, can you help me to draw two stick figures of two men? Walking. Thank you. So we have two people walking to Emmaus. They were Jesus' followers. And as they walked along, they were talking about everything that had happened. So as they talk and discuss these things, Jesus himself suddenly came and began walking with them. Okay, Alan, can you draw another person? And that's Jesus walking with them. So draw another taller person. Yeah. Thank you. And this is Jesus. Suddenly he appeared and walking with them. However, God kept them from recognizing him. This is interesting. So here we have the risen Jesus. And these two men were Jesus' followers. They couldn't recognize Jesus. God kept them from recognizing him. Why was that? I don't know. And a lot of times he gradually reveals himself to us. But we can learn from this is that we need God to open our eyes to see him. We need his help. So Jesus asked them, what are you discussing so intensely as you walk along? They stopped short and what happened? Sadness that faces sadness written across their faces can you draw two sad faces on these two person that's right thank you all right okay like that okay why were they sad okay one of them his name was cleopas he re he replied you must be only one person in jerusalem who hasn't heard about all the things that have happened there last few days and jesus asked what things so of course jesus knew the answers he was the one who died and resurrected the man answered the things that happened to jesus the man from nazareth he was a prophet who did powerful miracles and he was a mighty teacher in the eyes of god and all the people but a leading priest and other religious leaders handed him over to be condemned to death and they crucified him we had hoped he was the Messiah who had come to rescue Israel. This all happened three days ago. So the two followers of Jesus came with their own ideas, their preconceptions about who Jesus was to them. They were expecting Jesus to rescue them from the Rome, from Rome. But that was not God's plan. God's plan is always bigger than ours. They had put their hope in the wrong place. So sadness came written across their faces. So how true it is sometimes to us too, right? We come with expectations of how things should turn out, turn out or how God should answer our prayers or when is God's timing should be. But when things don't turn out the way we expected, we may get angry, upset, or like these two men feeling sad and hopeless so our expectations and feelings can block us from seeing God clearly or from seeing what he's doing so these two men continue to tell Jesus about reports from some women that Jesus body was not found in the grave and angels appeared to them and and told them that Jesus is alive and then some of the Jesus' disciples also couldn't find Jesus' body. Yes, you, yes. However, these two men were skeptical. Hmm, is that true? Even though they have been Jesus. following Jesus okay. and heard of his teachings and saw miracles, they had not believed in the resurrection of Jesus Christ. Why? 
because Jesus' resurrection was beyond their understanding. So what did Jesus do? Jesus showed them what the prophets wrote in the scriptures about himself. Jesus explained to them how the prophets had said he, he, the Messiah, had to die and would rise from the grave and death would be conquered. And after that, the Messiah would return to heaven. The Old Testament of the Bible points to Jesus as its fulfillment. In fact, the whole Bible is about Jesus. Only through the Bible, the word, that we can fully understand who Jesus is and his redemption plan. So now when they got to the village, the two men invited Jesus to stay with them. Jesus sat at the table to eat. Hey, let's draw a table. Okay, Jeremy, would you like to draw Jesus sitting at the table? Draw him in the middle. We both draw. Yeah. I'll draw. Yeah, so Jesus at the table. Mm -hmm. Thank you. That's Jesus. And Eric. Can you come up here and draw the two men sitting next to Jesus? So remember, those two men didn't know that that was Jesus, right? So now, when they got to the village, the two men invited Jesus to stay with them. Jesus sat at the table to eat, and he broke the bread. And at that moment, the Bible tells us that the eyes of the men were open. O open, not closed anymore. And they realized that Jesus was with them. And at that moment, poof, suddenly, Jesus disappeared. Jesus disappeared. Ooh. They started talking to each other. Didn't our hearts burn inside when he was telling us about the scriptures? And then they left in a hurry to go back to Jerusalem to tell the, uh, the other people about what happened. So after they learned about who Jesus is through the scripture, God opened their eyes to recognize Jesus. They were filled with joy. And their hearts were burning. They could not help but to tell and share Jesus to others. While all this was going on, Jesus appeared in the room with the disciples, the 11 disciples, the rest of the disciples. They were afraid and thought that he was a ghost. They thought Jesus was a ghost. He died. And Jesus, what happened? He asked for food and ate it. You know, ghost doesn't eat, do they? No. No, so Jesus is alive. Jesus came back to life. Jesus told them to touch his hands. And he told the disciples that everything that had happened was to fulfill the prophecies of the Old Testament. Then Jesus also opened the eyes of all of them. And this was that aha moment. Ding, 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 ding. Everything makes sense now. Jesus opened their eyes and their minds as well. And now they fully understood what Jesus wanted them to know. And what is that? That is, Jesus had come to save humanity from sin and to reconcile the relationship with God. And Jesus had come to earth to take God's punishment for our sins instead of us. Jesus came so that you may have eternal life. And this is for us too, for me and for you too. When our eyes have been opened by God, we want to share with others so that others can have their eyes open too. When we have encountered Jesus, we will want others to encounter Jesus too. So confusion was replaced by full understanding. Sadness was changed to joy. And lives are transformed and never be the same. So let us pray. Close your eyes. Yes, close your eyes, good. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you for this story. 
thank you, Holy Spirit, that you are the revealer and you want us to know who Jesus is. Thank you for your word to show us your redemption plan, Father God, and thank you for transforming hearts and lives. You are powerful. Only you can do that. Lord, we need you. We need you to open our spiritual eyes to see you, yeah. and to see what you are doing. And we desire fellowship with you and intimacy with you in our walk with you. Lord, would you please put a burning desire in our hearts to share you with others and we give you all glory. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. 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 Amen.